It's fanfic time! <laughs> Get ready. <clears throat> it's always the same thing. Every time I try to learn about love, I end up screwing up rather than making it work. I may not know much about love, but it's still frustrating to say the least. Sigh. Maybe if I look deeper into the subject, I might get it. I walk over to my bookshelf and see if there's anything I could have overlooked. Making spells, how to use magic, drawing with your hoof. Huh, nothing. Here that relates to love. It is really the only book that I've related to love. May as well go to the library and see if there was anything that could help me. I put the books back and examined the room if I could try <coughs> again. After a few seconds, I managed to teleport, but it wasn't where I wanted to be. <coughs> Fuck! <coughs> it was on top of my roof. <laughs> what? Is the pepper killing you? <laughs> I'm not sure! <laughs> Oh, is that other fake? I have a fake? headache. Is that other fake, fake call, like, causing some problems? The actual, the actual fake? Did it actually do some side effects to you? I don't know. Okay, clearly oh, I um, hadn't really like. What? Oh yeah, I was talking about a um the fanfic called the actual fanfic, or the actual fake, where it had a character named Dan. He had a, a hamster. And basically, he uh, drowned the hamster in jizz and killed it. Oh, Jesus. And, and snapped his neck off? Yeah, he snapped his neck off and made him drink the fluids out of a hat. Then he shoved the head, shoved the head of the hamster in, and in his And put it with its member. And afterwards, every month, they would buy a hamster. Just for that occasion. I'm suddenly frightened of this fanfic we're reading. <laughs> <laughs> First time for everything, let's go. All right, you can see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, clear I hadn't realized it was a bad idea. Whatever, no more attempting to teleport till I get back. Wait, how would I be able to get down without it? I guess I'll have to go back on my word and do just that. I attempted to teleport once more, but this time I actually teleported to the ground. Finally, now I can do what I wanted to do, and I start to walk over to Canterlot Library. It wasn't too noisy, and it was ear an earlier really afternoon, so it was pretty quiet. I got to the door and opened it. It was cold as always, but it wasn't too bad. So I digressed. Good morning, Almond. The library lady said with a smile. I greeted her with a smile and said, Good afternoon to you. You're usually not here at this hour. What's the occasion? She asked. She seemed a little tired for some reason. Maybe something was bothering her. Just looking for a spell book is all, and I'll be out shortly, I told her. She nodded and went back to reading. I walked over to the long hallway of books, and it looked like it went for miles. Each part was labeled in different parts of the section, making hay, how to eat with silverware, how to take care of fillies, the list goes on. I continued to walk, and finally after what felt like forever, I managed to find the love section. Each book was similar to their own, was similar in their own way but each had their own reason to exist i spotted two books that are love related however one of them had a weird vibe to it oh great it was a dark green book with a horn on the cover that's no horn <laughs> <laughs> oh god what did that's i say dick in disguise I've seen fix where they use it for that. Yeah, I figured. Why doesn't she just get that book, like the one that Twilight used, or the one that that one chick you? I, oh no, you played it a while ago. It was that one where Twilight, uh -oh, or where someone got a book out of Twilight's and Twilight ended up seducing and bucking her? Oh, what was that from? I know. I, I, I re don't remember. remember, but I don't remember the name. It was a meat and plop. <laughs> it was what? Twilight and Trixie. I'm sure of that. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was meat and clop, and it was... Oh, oh, I remember now. It was called Meat and Clop Amethyst Star. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that, that one. 
Why doesn't he just get the book that she that she got? Probably because the writer doesn't know about that book yet. Um, well, they should. It was strange, I'll admit, but it piqued my interest. I was about to go over to a library lady, but she seemed to be busy at the moment. I wasn't in any rush, so I can just read it to see if it's anything worthwhile. I sat down at a table and read the first sentence. To truly understand the meaning of love, you must first clear your mind. Huh? Maybe this is a bad idea. I'm confused, but for some unexplained reason, it interests me further, so I continued. For some reason, I started to feel drowsy and lightheaded. I closed the book and fell asleep. Okay. The book did the things with the butts. Alright, who, who wanna go next? I guess. I'd like to go last. I both want the new dude. Alright. Oh crap, that's me, isn't it? Yep. Okay, ellipses. Yeah. I woke up in some type of forest. I felt a gentle breeze on my face and I saw the grass was lighter than usual. The Everfree Forest, maybe? Nah, it was still daylight and it's usually dark. But if it's not, then... But if it's not, then where am I? Well, this is odd. I was just reading a book a second ago and now I... Wait a second. Did I end up in a whole other dimension? That's quite a jump. I couldn't cast a spell, so what gives? Well, since I couldn't see anything related to a town, I decided to take the next best course of action. Look for the nearest cave. A bad decision? <laughs> Probably, but it's better than staying out in the open. I walked around and saw a cave. I peeked in, but I couldn't see much. It wasn't like any cave I've ever seen. It was much darker than the caves I've seen, and usually I would see a dragon around here. Maybe this one was barren. Well, it may be lame, but it's the only choice I have for now. I attempted to learn it, to lean in more. I ended up falling into the cave. I, fe I feel on my side, and while it did hurt... <laughs> I feel on my side, and while it did hurt, it seemed that I suffered minor injury. Great, I get magically transported into a dimension that looks very similar to the Everfree Forest, and to top it all off, I have a headache. What else could go wrong? Just when I think nothing bad will happen, besides minor injuries, I suppose, the world likes to prove me wrong, even in a whole different dimension. Then again, I might as well look at the bright side. At least there aren't any dragons around. I looked around again, but... I looked around, but again, and it was too dark to see straight. I heard a something or some pony coughing, which caused my attention, which caught my attention. I turned around and saw a red, sharp eye staring at me. Ahem, may I ask what the hell you're doing in my cave? The voice demanded. This is my cave. This is my swamp. <laughs> also, <laughs> this is excuse my me, cave. my eyes are very sharp. I'd like to get the pokey things out of them. The voice sounded like a girl. Whoops. Voice sounded like a whoops. It sounded intimidating. I couldn't see her, but Wait, her I eyes were. I can make my voice silly Applebloom. Or Applejack. <laughs> I think I hurt my spleen. I didn't want to anger her, but what do I say to her? Ah, oh, it's so hard to think with all this with this pounding headache. I held my head, trying to think of what to say. Hey, I'm talking to you. Are you going to answer me or not? That's as low as that's as high as I go. She yelled. Her yelling was piercing my ears, and my head was pounding even more. I just spouted the first thing I could come up with. Oh, uh, sorry. I was just looking around, and I kind of fell feel into the cave. I'm sorry for intruding. I said. So many feels. <laughs> There's just so much feels. Maybe I, that's I why I'm so upset. How, how do you fall into a cave? Oh no no no! Feel into a cave. <laughs> It Maybe that was the problem. This, this fan base gave everybody. How do you not feel into a cave, Kai? Do you live under a rock? Maybe it's just like Everyone a really. Everyone knows how to feel into a cave. Maybe it's just a really nerdy voice. Oh my gosh, I feel into it. Maybe maybe that's what the whole comment says is about. The, this this fanfic gave everybody feels, so they was upset. Aha. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Why did I feel like that was the wrong thing to say? She keep looking at me, and I started to feel more uneasy. I felt like I, I, I should run, but I could trip. If I do, even that wasn't the case. I still have to worry about if she would catch me. She stopped, glaring at me, and said, Likely story. Well, if you're going to be here for a while, I might as well tell you my name. She seemed to calm down. Oh, god damn it. What? What? I, I did not... 
You'll see. Oh no. <laughs> I bet, by, by, I better be ready to run just in case. All of a sudden, Ty, stop up, head. and I saw the red eye pony. <clears throat> my name is Eclipse. <laughs> She, she, oh my god! I'm a bad Oh pony. my god! Wait! Oh my god! Why does this Should this character real? then oh have the voice god. of? <laughs> Should this Why character then have the voice of? My, my family and I own most of the of the cave around here. Oh my god! So you do around each part anyway. <laughs> what are you doing in my caves? I'm Batman. I'm a bad pony. I own all the fucking caves. I'm rich, but my parents are I was at a loss of words. It was the first mm. time I ever seen a bad pony. I've heard of them, but never got a chance to speak to one, nor see one. She had a dark purple mane and a gray coat that blend in the dark. I'm still scared of her, <laughs> but it's still nice that I saw a bad pony. She started to glare at me again. I shivered and I felt my bad pony shiver as well. Shivering. Like I said, Blah, blah. Like I said, I was just doing some exploring and kind of fell in. I wasn't trying to do any harm or trespass on any pony. It's just I was lost and, well, I was still looking for words. She raised, she raised an eye looking at me like I was crazy. Maybe I was. I'm telling the truth. Well, okay, I believe you. My parents are going to be home for a while. Want to get a little crazy? Oh my! With a smirk. Oh my god! That escalated quickly. <clears throat> oh my! Beg your pardon. What do you mean by crazy? Aren't you a little young to be doing things like crazy? I asked, concerned. She looked at me confused. I don't know what she was planning, but I hope it isn't life-threatening. Her eyes sharpened and yelled, "Don't make fun of me! I'm older than what I appear." Why is it look shorter than most ponies? Besides, you don't look too classy yourself. Bat ponies can suck an apple through a straw. Why is he complaining? I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a fact. <laughs> a real uh, bat pony. the fruit bat oh, yeah. pony. Yeah. Fruit bat pony. She's a vampire bat pony. Classy. I'll say. I'm not the most attractive pony in the Quackia. I'm not that bad, am I? I need to pick my next words carefully, or maybe my last. I mean, we just met. I don't think we can get crazy, I said constantly. She stepped closer and I backed up a bit. Hey, can we do it? Hey, we can do whatever we want. It's not like there's really any law or anything, oh, she no. said proudly. I'm an adult. Oh boy. That's true. I need All an adult. Right. I am an adult. <clears throat> Alright. Technically, she's right, but I don't think there's a way out of this. I teleported. What well, you say you couldn't use magic. But I I but I could end up in a worse place, and since she doesn't seem to seem like she's going to kill me, <clears throat> I may as well stay here. Teleporting is going to be my last res resort. Well, if she's telling the truth, I guess it wouldn't hurt to find out what she means. All right, fine. I'll take you up on your offer, I said cautiously. She smiled and said, great, let's get started. I feel as I'm going to regret it afterwards. She winks at me and pulls me back into a small opening, barely fitting the both of us inside. I saw her room and despite it being dark, I saw a bunch of board games. Nothing bad so far. She lit up the room and I saw spider webs all over the place. Hmm, maybe she collects spiders or something. I tuned I tuned around to <laughs> see she wasn't next to me. Where'd she go? She lifted me up and dropped me on the Oh what? She dropped me Fair touch. Fair on touch. the Good web. God. Hey, careful there. You could have killed me. On spider webs? <clears throat> she, gi she giggled and pushed me onto another web. She, uh, for some strange reason, this looked like fun. Am I crazy for liking this? Maybe. I pushed her back onto another web and she continued to laugh. I smiled 
as she continued to push each other into the webs. It's like Twilight. What is the closest Fifty Shades of Hay? I mean, <laughs> the Twilight version of ponies. I, a few hours had passed, and she was panting. Wow. We both laughed and I helped her up. See, I told you it would be fun, she said, still panting. You're right! It was fun, though I'll admit, I was scared at first, I said. She went over to the sink and washed out the webs that were in her mane. She threw a towel and I caught it with my face. Thanks, I said. All right, I think you should start heading out. I'm going to work on getting myself clean before I cleaned up before my parents get home, she said, dropping the smile. I looked at her with confusion as to what she means. I wasn't about to argue back, so I nodded and asked, Am I going to see you anytime soon? She seemed hesitant as I asked, I don't know, just head out. My parents wouldn't want to see some pony else here without them knowing about it, she said, still cleaning her mane. Okay, bye for now, I said, still smiling. Before I could leave, she grabbed onto my foreleg. Before you go, I wanted to say... <clears throat> she paused for a few seconds, blushing. Never mind. I'll see you later. I see you around sometimes. I crawled out of the hole and entered and saw a way up. Hey, wait! She said. I stopped and looked into the hole. What's your name? <laughs> she asked. I didn't get it. That's right. I never told her. I guess with all the fun we were having, it must have slipped my mind. My name's Almond! I answered. <laughs> I heard a, a mumble, but I couldn't make out what it mean, what it was. I saw some type of map came from the hole. It will show you the way out. But I now go before my parents see you, she said. I smiled once more and walked towards. Uh, thanks. I look around and saw it was getting easier to see with each step I made. After about a few minutes, I ended, I ended up where I originally started. Well, that was exciting, to say the least, as in I wouldn't mind doing that again. I do like her, but she kind of scares me. She might have said, I love you, but that can't be. Then again, she was smiling and laughing. No, no, I, I can't. She's just not the type for me. Sigh. As long as I'm here, I may as well look around and see if there's anything new. I just don't get it through. I just don't get it through. <laughs> Why was she in the cave, or rather, why do they live in a cave? I guess there is something, like some things I'll never understand. Maybe being in the dark is just their thing. As I pondered the question, I start moving into a random direction. It didn't matter where I would end up, just as long as it wouldn't kill me. I look up from my intense thought and it seems I ended up in a swamp. I heard a faint noise of something I can't describe in the distance. The only thing I could tell for sure was that it was getting closer. I looked around, attempting to pinpoint the source of the sound, but it was to no avail. After looking around some more, I just decided it was imagination and I sat down. <clears throat> After all, I just got done playing with that bat pony and my eyes were feeling heavy. I lay down and went to sleep. Okay. What felt like hours went by and I woke up, I woke up but I noticed a figure standing in front of me. I couldn't make out much of it since it was standing in front of the sun. The only thing I could make out was that it was an earth pony. In either case, I attempted to interact with the figure. Hello? Who are you? I asked. Well, hello there, cutie. I'm imagining they're all females now. Well, hello there, cutie. I haven't seen you around before, she, she said, seducing me. Also fast. This is awkward, to say the least. She moved out over the sun, and I could see her. She was an earth pony with a green mane and yellow coat. It matches the swamp look look to be honest which kind of scares me maybe i should act bold 
Nah, I can't pull it off. Last time I tried that, I ended up getting beat up for it. I better just act normal. Well, hello there, miss. You look nice, I said, complimenting her. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? Yeah, my main Nick matches the swamp very well. It all, it's also almost like I'm looking on... It's almost like I'm looking another swamp. <laughs> I said nervously. This is her swamp. <laughs> I'm making her Shrek now. <laughs> Do it. See, it's a female Shrek. I just, I, I just not noticed something. He, he read the book. He's out cold. You mean he's in the library now. He's in Alter Universe, but he's laying there. And Twilight's not thinking like, huh, he just slumped over that book. I wonder if he's okay. Nah, he's fine. He's probably in intensive care right now. He's probably in some sort of weird coma. <laughs> probably. What happened? I don't know. He just passed out after he started reading. I didn't know. I didn't even. I don't even know what happened. God damn it! This was going in the porn section. And he's rock hard. I don't get it. <laughs> rock hard. That's why they haven't gotten him any medical help. Every time somebody goes like, "Okay, just pick him up." Psst, ah, my eye. <laughs> yes, the rock. It's just wrong. Rock. Uh, did I really just say that? I face hoof on how stupid that sounded. It wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if she slapped me for it. After I removed the hoof out of my face, I noticed her standing closer to me than before. Yep, I'm getting slapped. Honesty, I deserve it for being an idiot. Why don't you come closer? She said. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> my eye was twitching as I realized my life might be over. I closed my eyes and waited for her to uh, Obliterate me. Okay, maybe I exaggerated a bit, but the point is I'm screwed. After a full minute, nothing happened. I opened one of my eyes and she seemed confused. Are you okay? She asked. This is my first time. Normally I would have been beaten up, but she seems to like my company. Would you like to come over to my place? She asked kindly. I'm surprised she hasn't beaten me up yet. I rather not anger her. I took her up on her offer and said, I'd love to. She giggled and said, Who says we couldn't do it right here? Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, do what exactly? I asked, stuttering my words. She smiled at me. I'm guessing she's waiting for me to say something. That, what is, what I, can I say exactly? What do I say? Well, I've come this far. I guess I can't really give up at this point. I opened my mouth, but no words came out. I didn't think I was that, ner I was this nervous. Finally, I mustered enough courage and said, All right, miss. If you want to do it, then I am all for it. Wow. It'll be August soon. It's not ogre till it's ogre. Once again, I didn't think it. Once again, I didn't think it, though. She giggled at me, but this time for sort of lust in her eyes. There was a short delay before she lunged at me. I was pushed on the ground, and we started, the, we started to tumble down the hill. With each second we were falling, my body was getting scratched up a bit. Was getting scratched up bit by bit. She was still giggling all the while, which worried me. Was she trying to kill us both? I looked down and saw that we weren't going to be on flat ground anytime soon. Screw it, I'm gonna take my chances and try to teleport. Just when I was about to do that, she put something on my horn blocking out my magic. I was <laughs> stuck tumbling and I had no way out. So this is how it ends, death by falling. I guess it could be worse. I could be getting tortured to death or something. I noticed we were getting closer to the ground and I will say this, I regret almost nothing. Although I do regret not knowing what love is. Wait, what? Just then, we hit a pile of mud. We are still alive? I got up and shook off the mud. Ah, oh, my ribs feels. So, <laughs> Sir, did you like it or did you like it? She asked, smiling. Honestly, I'm more surprised that I'm still alive. I hesitated to look at her, but I had to say something. I've kept calm all, all thought out. I can't stop now. It was scary, but... I guess being alive is a start, so I can't complain too much, I said with my voice stuttering. Ooh. She seemed to ignore my concern and said, Swinging by here sometime if you want to do it again. I'll keep that in mind. I may come back when I get the chance, I said, still scared. She winks and waves at you, waving into the distance, past a couple of trees, and out of sight. <sighs> I'm glad that's over with. I don't think I would have lasted much longer if things had continued the way they did. The day is still young, so I continue my journey into wherever I am. Maybe I might find some type of hospital around here. I mean, I already found a bat pony and a rough earth pony, so anything is possible. I walked straight hoping... No, I walked straight hopping to find something useful. I started to feel more tired with each step. I felt like if I continued walking, I would die. 
I tired to I tried to remove whatever it was placed on my horn, but it didn't work. Great, so I'm unable to cast magic now. Well, it's not the worst thing that can that's happened to me. It doesn't handicap me too much since I don't use magic on a regular basis. No wonder he can't teleport properly. Guys, Legend Month is ready. Bring them on the show. I wonder what all this has to do with love. Being thrown into spider webs, being hurled down a mountain. Hmm, love. Sounds like S and M. Well, one of them was Shrek, and Shrek is love. Shrek is life. Seduce me. Celestia is love. Celestia is life. Just wait. Celestia is Shrek. <clears throat> We're gonna see Alicorn next. I can see it now. It's gonna happen. I decided to stop and rest a few minutes. Then that same pony from before came to mind. What if she showed up again? I wasn't about to deal with that again, so despite the pain I felt, I would continue to walk. My eyes started to feel heavy and my hooves were slowly starting to give way. Just when I thought I was done for, I saw what looked like a hut. What's a hut doing out here? In here, near the ocean. <clears throat> Never mind, it was better that I didn't question. As I came closer to the hut, I noticed a girl sitting underneath it, attempting to shield herself from the sun. Was she another bat pony or is it eclipse? Otherwise, I walked closer and made sure not to surprise her. The hut also appears to have been hastily built. Guess I can't complain since I've built worse. To make sure I didn't assume that there was the same way I'd approach her normally. Better safe than sorry. Uh, miss, do you wanna, do you want help by any chance? I asked. She turned around to my surprise. It wasn't the same mare. She was an earth pony who was light skinned. From the looks of her, she didn't go out often during the day. Huh? Me? Oh, I'm fine, she said. It seemed very tired. She seemed very tired and distressed. I wonder if she's hiding from some pony. Judging by her body language, it seemed to have just recently woke up. Are you sure you seem like you're a little distressed? I asked worried. I sat down next to her, matching her gaze out into the ocean. She smiles and looks out into the ocean. Isn't it beautiful out here? She asked. She responded, or she responded, however, ignored my previous question. I asked to go along with her and said, yeah, it really does. Her eyes seemed lifeless, but it was kind of hard to tell since her mane was blocking her eyes. She looked back at me and asked, have you ever wondered how it feels? How what feels? I paused as oh she God. said that. She okay, stares. So, 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 are we allowed to interrupt? Yeah. Is that ever? How are you? Exactly how did they see her eyes if her mane is completely blocking her eyes? I don't know. Really? Wait, he fell. He fell. Into a uh, cave. No, he feel into a cave. <laughs> yeah, he feel. He, he feel into a cave, and he feel. He feel it. And you. his ribs are feel ill. Yeah, a lot This is feel reminding me more and more of that uh, dating sim that Kai played a while ago. <laughs> honey Pop, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, Honey Pop is a piece of art. Oh, this is Honey Pop because how girls the girls are so one dimensional. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, but at least Honey Pop had good voice acting and writing. Oh, totally. <laughs> you guys just like the porn. I do. Yeah. And the gameplay was amazing. It was like you Bejeweled. You Candy that. Crush. Candy it was girls like, are cool. You played Candy Crush for boobs. It was like Bejeweled with boobs. It was like Bejeweled. <laughs> Bedazzled Vagina. Look it up. I don't want to. Story to be continued next week. Until then.